I was visiting him at the St. Regis. I think it was when Marnie was opening in 64, I think. We had a few drinks in his room. Then uh, we went to the elevator going down. And uh, we get into the elevator and there's silence from, from the 24th floor to the 18th floor. And on the 18th floor, three people come in dressed for dinner. And Hitch turns to me out of the blue and says, Oh, it was quite horrible, you know. He was lying there in a pool of blood. Blood coming out of his ear. Blood coming out of his nose. And I thought, what on earth is he talking about? You know, I'd had a little drink and I thought, well, maybe I missed something. And I felt like an idiot, you know, so I'm listening to him. And the doors open on the 15th floor, and more people come in. He goes on with his, oh, it was really quite horrible. I mean, you know, there was blood all everywhere, all over the wall. I said, good God, man, what's happened to you? And do you know what he said to me? And at this point, just as he says that the doors open to the lobby, to so everybody in the elevator, of course, who knew who he was anyway, because he was very well known, uh, sort of hesitated, you know, they didn't want to leave the elevator, they wanted to hear what happened. Of course, he didn't say a word, so they, they all had to get out of the elevator, and Hitch, uh, Hitch just walks right by, and they're all kind of clustered near the front of the elevator, listening, he didn't say anything, he starts walking across the lobby. So I'm completely confused. I don't know what's going on. So I said, so, 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 what did he, what, what did he say, Hitch? He says, what? Oh, nothing. That's just my elevator story. So obviously that was something he did quite often in elevators, just to amuse himself.